Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus Plays Europe Universe 4. Wow, that was kind of a mouthful early in the morning before you had your coffee. Europa Universalis 4. Jesus Christ, tongue twister. Okay, so last episode we made a little bit of progress uh, up here. And we uh, expanded our colonies out into the Australian area. Hopefully I can turn all of Australia into this, like, one big, awesome uh, colonial nation. That's the word I was looking for, colonial nation. If I'm lucky, maybe take out New Zealand, too. Actually got a couple friends who lives in New Zealand. I got one who lives right about here. And I got one who lives right up over here. Now, uh, somebody did actually, I got my first ever, like, I, I, I would say complaint. I'm not sure if it really counts as a complaint. Maybe constructive criticism. Uh, someone said they thought the music was a little too high. So I'm just going to go in and I'm going to knock down the music volume just a tad there. There we go. Just a little bit, see if that helps out. So we're going to continue our game now. Uh, we are continuing to attempt to get ahead of the Catholics. We actually made a ton of progress on the mainland, and they've made a ton of progress on the continent, which is unfortunate for me. Really bummed out about that. But we are converting uh, Echizen right now, which I believe is this one. Echizen, yep. Damage our colony. Oh, this one down here. Harvest failure, that's unfortunate. Wait, they damaged? Oh, damn it. You know what it was? I had a, a little pop-up last episode that was like you could have a uh, population in a one that's already colonized, or it was like 200 settlers for a new one. And we're going to do this. Army tradition. And I picked the 200 settlers for this one, but the, the rebels rose up and destroyed it before I got troops there. That sucks. Oh, well, it's not a huge deal, just a little bit of a bummer, really. Oh, and you know what this fleet is? This fleet is new transports that I'm going to use separately from the large fleet of transports up here so I can move my colonists around. Because last time the, the, the Catholic regiments rose up, I had all of my transports down here moving around my little protection contingents, and it took me a while to get them back up here and then transport my guys over to the mainland, or, or to... I, I've been calling this the home homeland, mainland? I don't even know what I've been calling it these days. So, uh, so what I decided to do was construct another small fleet of transports and just keep them down here with these guys. But now let's um let's leave these guys where they are, leave these guys where they are and we'll just continue with these colonies right here because they do seem to be worth a decent amount of money. So let's go here. Ugh. Ray, you're terrible. 130 Damn, your 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 grandmother and your grand and your and your father, I think it is. Yeah. Your grandmother and your father were amazing. You kind of suck. That's a bit of a shame. See, that's why I want to do these, is because they could potentially produce a decent amount. Let's core this shit. Disorder. Oh no. Fuck me. Shit, I was relying on that stability for conversion purposes. Fuck me, that sucks. Oh well. Well, what we could do is do, 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 do some construction to try to help it along. Well, we could keep... Well, mm, I'm kind of tempted to do the... Like, like, like fill out the temples. First, just because that ta that extra tax is something I don't have to worry about, and it's just extra money. So let's just do that. And we got some tech. It's going to be Diplo. Yay. Goods produced. Boom. Just like that. Okay. Very nice. And what's the next one? Grand Shipyard and... 
road network, local trade power, and movement speed. That's pretty damn good. Okay, we got a Holy War Colossus Belli. Now, what was it that it's going to let us build now? Something down here. Manufactories. Naval equipment manufactory, weapon manufactory, farm estate, plantations. That could be really, really useful in this. Yeah, definitely. Look at that right there. How much is that? 400? Or plantations. Yo, look at that. Yeah, definitely. Definitely, definitely, definitely. So let's do this first. Boom. Get that going. That'll be a nice little boost to the economy. I'm gonna try I'm actually gonna, probably gonna build a bunch of those because they are definitely worth it. I wish I had that third stability point. Because I'm pretty sure that one I actually paid for out of pocket. I think I paid 176 admin points for that. I don't know why I blanked on what the price was. Or not the price, but the uh, the cost in terms of what I what I spent. Where are my ships? Oh! Oh, they're up here now. Very good. I'm trying to explore or explore the west coast of uh, America so that, yeah, yeah, I said America because I'm an American and we don't like pronounce words correctly. Um, so we can get some colonies. A colonial nation over there would be brilliant at this point. I would love that. And I think I probably have the trade range to either island hop or just get straight up. Like, like, I could probably skip this one and get over here. But we have to have them explore the coastline, and then we'll set them to... Oh, we cord that. Nice. And then we'll set them to explore the, the actual land. I'm not I, I'm assuming that changed with, you know, the way exploration works a little bit changed with El Dorado. Uh, I'm not exactly sure, because I didn't play this game a ton before that. I'm still... In Paradox terms, I just left this in a comment, but, um this morning. In paradox terms, I'm still new to the game. In paradox terminology. There's something... I know there's a couple things in here that I really wanted, so yeah. Let's keep going on that. Cavalry cost and cavalry combat ability is amazing, because uh, that'll just mean that my military takes up a smaller percentage of my income, which is nothing but good. Trade, production, taxation... I like it. Uh, Kyoto, Su, Setsu, Awari, Mino, Tando, and blah, 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 others. <laughs> it just gives you the, the top, top couple. Colonial maintenance, good. Army maintenance, leave it where it is. Very good. That one's get As soon as that one's done, I'll go there, and then I'll skip over to this side. Uh, which will mean I need to move my navy down there. Boom, just like that. War is ended. Manchu, I still need to destroy them, so let's make sure we have... Oh, no, we can't claim any of their land. That's a shame. Uh, what, who the hell are these guys? Like, what are these little places? Batch of Western Arquebuses. Brought party of Western Arquebuses to our armed forces. This could buy state-of-the-art technology, but will not be cheap, and the muskets will not last forever. So, four. Four, two... 1648. That's only two years. Shit. And we got another province converted. We'll get uh, discipline reinf- Ronin offers his service. Let's see. So we get statement, army re uh, reformer, or a spy master. Five tradition or 77 ducats. We're going to go with tradition. So this will, for two years, it'll give me military tech cost. Uh, it's not worth it. It's definitely not worth it. All right, a lot of pop-ups all at once. Let's get rid of that now. All right, we're doing good. If anybody else thought the music was too loud, just let me know. Like, if you guys ever have any, you know, constructive criticisms like that, just, just, just please let me know. I'd rather you tell me so that I can fix it than, you know, you guys just try to be nice to me and placate me and 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 always be just, you know, a little annoyed. Just be like, ah, oh, damn, that's a little too loud. All right, so this one's almost done. We can finally have a rival. Ooh, interesting. That, I'm definitely interested in, because Malacca has a lot of trade power down here, and they're, they, it, from what I've seen, they're pretty 
rich. I mean, look at that. 25.4. 25.4. That's huge. Cities demand old rights. I'm going to take the hit to my stabil or my legitimacy because I don't want to take that stability right now. All right. That was that, that was a lot lower before. It's a shame. That's the one that literally just converted. Yeah, I'm looking these ones I can't even touch. Can't even touch. Not by a lot. Like an entire percentage point on that one. Yeah, look how much the trade in this node is worth. 25.4. Now look at a, like 2.1. Nippin 6.3. Wow, that's an that's a pricey node down there. Girin's got a decent amount. But it's huge, so it's just probably, you know, kind of like spamming lot, lots of little things. Alrighty. Where are my ships? How are they doing? Oh, oh, they've actually made it over here. Probably in this one, this one right here, I would say. Yep, there they are. And as soon as they're done with this, which will probably take a little while, because I think they're exploring the waters off California, then I can send them out again, and they can actually explore the coastline. Sure, why not? It's these guys. All right, no big deal. We're doing okay on the colonies. Oh, that one's almost done, actually. I, I, I kind of wish these guys were providing me with some more money. I mean, the taxes in these regions are is okay, but the trade, I wish, was worth a little bit more. I'm Right now, I'm collecting there. Because I can't transfer it up to me. No, it only goes down. It only goes away from me. It only goes this way and this way. And right now, trade power. I have 37% of the power. Excellent. It seems like they're, tr they're managing to transfer a lot. Well, I, I think, you know what? It's probably because I have... Th oh, Jesus. Imam. Well, it was this, like, the smallest rebellion I've seen in a while, which makes me happy. And we're going to... Okay, well, we're going to remember this time. Crank the slider up. And we're going to attach to transports and move these guys. Probably to Ferdan. Yep, Ferdan. There we go. And my army is going to be this unruly daimyo. That sucks. Ooh. Well, 16 regiment. Uh, Lonnie. I don't even know where those are. I'd actually, I'd, 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 I'll, I'd take that first. Where's the other one? There's, there's one of them. There was another one somewhere. It's down there. So I'll have to transport some guys down there too. I can, I, I can, right now, I, I feel like I can fight better than anything else. What? 75 days? Are you fucking shitting me? Oh, are you fucking kidding me? 75 days. 75 days. They broke that siege in 75 days. Two ticks. Two. Oh, fucking A. How much is that? That's gonna be... Until the death. I will take that. That, that is fucking ridiculous. 75 goddamn days. Fucking 75... Ugh. That annoys the shit out of me. How the fuck did they break that siege in 75... In two months. In two fucking months. That one's finished, right? We're gonna just hit him from this way. Well, there's gonna be a river crossing from everywhere, I think. No, I could get. The, I could. I could come over here, and then move up that way. 
Well, they're moving right now. There we go, that's actually better. No river and woods instead of mountains. Cavalry combat abilities increased this time around, and they have fewer troops than me for like the first time ever. I can't believe they fucking did that in 75 goddamn days. Have you ever see the siege last that long, 75 days? Never gonna get ahead with them sieging down land like that. I feel like maybe I should actually give my guys a second to recoup. <laughs> like, like, seriously, what in- ugh, What are the odds? What are the odds? That, that must have been like two critical rolls. Oh, that's just wonderful. And I, I, ugh. my rebel, <laughs> my rebels are a problem. Whatever happened to the sieges lasting like 700 days? That's what I'm used to. I'm used to sieges lasting like 700 days. We lost a vessel? Did they... Is that what... Was that an event? Hang on, let's finish this. Uh... I'm assuming that's way over here. Did we lose all three ships? It said we lost a vessel. But now I don't see any of my ships anywhere. Our beloved heir dies. Um, that's fine by me. Kind of kind of kind of a shithead. Whoa! New legal heir with a weak claim. Take it. 554 deal. Especially cuz I think my guy is not that young. 55. Ooh, I'll take that. Take that any day. This guy, I completely keep forgetting about. He's done exploring, so shithead Magoo over here I could probably get rid of. Alrighty, how is this one doing? It's making a little bit of progress. Oh, God. Where are my ships? Those are my flutes? Yeah. There we go. That would have gotten me a temple in Jeju, but that's okay. Is there any more other? Ooh, I got a, I got a free. What's it called? Corruption! Yay! Eradicate the problem or gain three. Oh God! Th this this episode is just like kicking ki kick Ben in the balls time. Ah. Oh. God, you know, it's the game the game does that. It's like you'll be doing good for a while and then it's just like, you know what? You know what? You're doing too good. You're doing too good. We need we need to teach you a little bit of a lesson, my friend. And then it's just like rebellion, lose stability, conversion, your ships disappeared. Oh god. In retrospect, I should not have taken those. You know what I'm thinking of doing is actually- oh, shit. I actually landed them on the province they were attacking. I didn't realize that. I thought there were two there. Oh, fuck. Um, I guess you get a straight crossing penalty for that, but okay, we'll just do that. Uh, where are my ships? You guys could actually hang out right back over here. Because as soon as I finish that, I'm going to send them back up to meet up with the other army. Got some admin points creeping in, which I like. Oh, the benefits of having a non-shithead leader.
I like having my guy not being a shithead. Yeah, like, come on. 75 days? I didn't get no fucking 75 days. They must have gotten, like, two critical rolls in, in a row. Plus, they had ten, ten units of artillery and a couple points into siege from their leader. That must have been it. Oh, God. Oh, okay. We converted the culture. And was it this one? Boduna, yes. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's actually check. I doubt there are any, but let's check. Uh, this one. Nope. All Korean, which is accepted. Do we complete our our thingy? No, trade company is still, still building. Alright, yeah. Took uh, 75 days to siege it down, a year to siege it back. Shitheads. Oh, God. Now, I, what I need is... I need some more ships to explore with. I can do it with light ships, right? I think I can. Actually, knock that back down. Add 50 admin power to lower it by 2. How, it's going to go down by itself, but... You know... That stuff really adds up. And that seems like a really high level of mercantilism. Sort by value. Yeah, look at that. The value in this node is just through the goddamn roof. That is amazing. I feel like I need to take move into the territory there. All right, so we're all done there. Go back over here. I don't know what I should do for my next idea because it's gonna it's not gonna be too far off. This is basically gonna give me nothing. Textile manufacturing, I probably won't be building any of those. This will be good though, supply limit, that'll be awesome. I just love that Ming dissolved. It, it, you know, it, it busted itself up into a million different little pieces, probably 20 different pieces, which is just fucking amazing. Castile? The fuck? What in the name of God? Oh, that could play into my hand. That could play into my hand. You know what? Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Oh my God, you know what I could do? I could declare war on these guys, grab all this land up to here, have a bordering province with a western nation, and that'll give me an excuse to westernize. Oh, this is interesting. Very, very interesting. Indeed. Uh, so let's grab, um... Are the ships in the right place? Oh no, I'm clicking on the wrong goddamn thing! Let's drop you guys off over here, I guess. We're gonna go take out their army. That is it. I don't know how the fuck Castile got that land. But, actually... What is it? Ooh! <laughs> Ooh. Uh, level 20 military tech. Oh. That's scary. But you know what? I'm going to save up these points. I'm going to save up the points I got because I might need them for... Because I might be able to westernize soon. Hee hee hee. That would be awesome. Alright, let's go take out their army. Or... Ee, I, was, I was just saying I was going to save it up, but... Hostile corporate income from vassals. National manpower modifier. Um. Well, let's let's keep going on the idea groups for now, just for this one. 
I, I should, you know... Mm. Attracting the right people, that's good. So that was probably their entire army. Yep. So we're just going to drop uh, sieges now. Drop a siege. Go there. Oh, uh, is that the right one? Yep. Drop a siege. Go there. Oh, we lost. That's unfortunate. Oh, we lost like six light ships there, I think. Um, they actually have a fleet. Up here somewhere. Yeah, look at that. No, no, that's me. That's theirs right there. What do they have in here? Okay, that's their fleet. It looked like it was a pretty... It was probably a relatively even match. They just got the jump on me. All right, now we're just gonna... That's the province we need right fucking there. Because I'm pretty sure all I need is a border with... I need to have a bordering province with a western nation. And that's what that is right there, right? Because that says Castile. Anybody know how Castile got the fuck over there? You let me know. Doing there. Doing good. Ooh. Ooh, coffee. Coffee's worth something. I'm gonna need to dump some points into building more ships. I mean, I'm at level 15, right? So I'm I'm only five I'm five tech points behind the Western Nation. Oh, I I expected to be a lot more than that, honestly. I expected to be far farther back than than five tech points. And how are these guys doing down here? What are their odds? 10.5 years. That's not too good. It's just, I don't want to spend that much right now. We could tech up if we wanted to. But I think I need to save up these points right now. Because I plan on westernizing and having a bank of points is what you need. 75%. I feel like that's good in... Mm, naval research all wrong. Let's take out the prestige. I don't want to lose anything else right now. 40... Nope, that's negative 42. Fortification efforts. Um, I guess we'll just do that. Now, who do we just lose? Our military dude. Oh, that's unfortunate. So, discipline or reinforce speed? Oh, uh, let's actually... It's 12. Can't really afford that right now, so... We'll do that one. Shame. I need to... I can't believe how long I've been letting this slide for. Where are my other ships? Did I put them all together into one fleet? I did. I did put them all together into one fleet. Uh... Let's make a new unit. I can't believe I did that. That defeats the purpose of them being there. Oh, you know what? That's why I've been letting it slide. I can't I, I can't tra gra grab that guy to transport him back. That's why I've been doing it like that. I've been sitting there thinking, it's like, why have I been letting myself take that one point hit this entire time? That's why, because there's nothing I can do about it at the moment. That one's making progress, though. Grain. That one's the, like look. Look how much this one's worth compared to that one. <laughs> Nothing. Yeah, you need a lot because this the the last time I westernized, it went really smoothly because I started with a huge bank of points, and now I'm wishing I didn't spend those military points. As soon as I hit the button, I was like, oh, oh, I shouldn't have done that. But I'm glad that I'm saving up these ones and these ones at least. And that this is going well. Good. Alright, done there. Oh no. Alright, these fuckers got their ships out. So let's grab my war galleys. Oh, these guys went back out. Oh, fuck you guys. Why did you do that? I, 
I expected them to just hang out at home. Stop doing that. Stop it. Just, just sit right there. Let my galleys go do it. That's what they're fucking there for. I should actually really make this fleet of galleys, like, massively huger. And, yeah, they're not interested in doing anything now that I've got my fleet coming up. We are at 65% way through this war. I'm gonna try to annex this entire country. I'm gonna destroy them. Because I need that border with Castile. God, I hope this wor the, the, the westernization works the way I think it does. Because if I remembered correctly, it was... You had to border a western nation that was three techs ahead of you or more. That's the way I recall it. Uh, I'm not exactly sure, though. But we're going to have to leave this for the next episode, unfortunately, because we are out of time. So if you've enjoyed this, just drop me a like. Leave me a comment right down below. And if you're interested in more Benjamin Magnus plays Europa Universalis 4, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next time.